Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today is finally the day where I'm going to end my 2020 project pen. Originally I wanted to end this project at Christmas but around that time and then also in January my work has been really busy and really crazy so I just couldn't sit down and film and edit so I'm kind of wrapping up everything now and then I'm also going to start everything new from now on. So I'm going to leave a timestamp down below where the new project intro starts and I'm just going to quickly wrap up my old project pen. So originally I think I wanted to work on 11 products and wanted to finish 11 products and I have already finished 5 last year and these are the 6 remaining products that are in this project. So first of all is my Milani powder. This is the Prep Set and Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder. And I will pop up pictures from my first intro and my updates and as you can see I could finish it up entirely. This was pretty pretty easy to finish up. I did actually repress it after the last update and then it was very easy to use it up because I feel like after repressing it got a bit more powdery so it had a bit more kick up and it was even easier to finish it up than it was before. But in general, this was a very easy product for me to use up because I have oily skin, so I use powder regularly every day. So it's quite easy to go through powders for me. The compact of this powder is actually quite handy because I used it to repress an eyeshadow, a pretty big one, so it was very nice to have this big container here to mix everything up and then repress it in the original pan. So this compact is quite handy, so I'm going to keep it around. And next is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is a travel size and you can see some product is left in here, but when it stands up and all the product is down here, I don't know why, but the pump in here can't reach it. So I cannot get the last bit of product out and I also can't get this thing here off. So I can't open the bottle. So I just can't the last bit of product out of this bottle, but because I'm not the biggest fan of this primer, it doesn't really do a bad thing. I feel like it sometimes peels off and sometimes it doesn't. I don't know when. I tried to figure out which combinations with foundations made it peel off, but I couldn't figure it out. It did it randomly. So I'm not a big fan of this primer and I wouldn't repurchase it. And I'm not mad at this bit of product left because I just don't want to use it anymore. So it's okay for me. So this one here for me is an empty and I'm going to get rid of it after filming this video. Then next we have this Clinique foundation. It's the even better foundation in the shade CN28 Ivory. And this is one of my favorite foundations. And I already own a backup of this one. So I'm glad that I could use this one up completely. I think I only had a tiny bit left in it. And it took me only, I don't know, maybe four or five uses and then I could finish it completely. Then next is this Essence Primer. It's called the Fresh and Fit Wake Primer. And as you can see, everything is empty here so i used up every last bit of it and it's actually a really nice primer the more i used it the more i liked it so i wasn't that big of a fan before this project but now i think it's really a very very nice glowy primer i don't know if they still make it and if it's still available because essence tends to discontinue products quite frequently so I don't know if it's still in their collection but it's a beautiful primer so if you're looking for a drugstore glowy primer this one is a really really good one. Now the two products that are left in here I couldn't finish so the first one is the NYX Born to Glow liquid illuminator this is also a travel size so it's a smaller size you can get it in a way bigger bottle but there's so much product in here and as I have mentioned in updates before, I only use this product in combination with a liquid blush and I just wasn't reaching for liquid blush that much. So I think that's the reason why I couldn't really finish it up, but there's only a tiny amount left in it. So I do want to continue to work on this product and I would love to finish it up soon. And then last is my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I have removed the stopper by now, but there is still so much product left in here. So I think it will take me at least 10 more uses to finish this one up completely. So I also want to continue to work on this product. 
So overall, I was able to finish four more products since the last update and I'm very happy with that. And now let's jump right into the intro to my new project pen. So this is the new group of products that I'm going to work on during the next weeks and months. So the end of this product will be the end of the year thing, but maybe if I finish everything before then, maybe I will finish it sooner. I don't know yet. And I think I'm going to just do like a rolling project pen. Maybe I roll in some new things. Maybe I'm not going to. So there are 10 products in this project now at the beginning. So I've recently watched a video by Christina Chang. She's also doing like a year long project pen where she works on 10 products and it's all a rolling project pen. So I'm kind of doing the same thing, but for me it's like, I really want to work on these products and I have specific goals for each product. But if I do roll something out, I don't have to roll in something new. I think I want to roll in some new products, but there don't always have to be 10 products in this project, if you know what I mean. So I hope that's clear. I will be writing my rules down below in the description box as well, if you want to check them out or read them later. So I would say let's just go through every product and I'm going to tell you my goals for each and every one. So first of all, I do have this powder here by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade One Fair. And this one here is almost finished so as you can see there's only this amount left here and I just want to finish it up completely because I think it only takes me one month to finish this one and then I want to repress a different powder into this container that's why I would love to finish it up soon because I really would love to repress another powder into this beautiful little compact here so this powder actually broke on me and then I had to repress it and then it also got a bit softer and was easy to use so I think I can finish it up pretty pretty soon. So I think for this product here, if I finish it up until the next month and I can roll it out, I want to roll in a new product and I want to work on another powder because my powder collection, it's not that big but I feel like it's a bit too big so I could really finish some powders up and I would love to do so. So this one is the first one that's going to go. Then next I do have this Fenty lip gloss here. It's in the shade Fuzzy, it's a gloss bomb and it's the original size and I'm already down here. So I have put a marker here on the back. And I actually use nail polish now because every other pen that I used before has worn off. So I hope that this one here stays put. So I'm at half of the bottle. So I really would love to finish this one up completely during the year. So no matter how long it will take, this will be staying in this project. I really want to completely use it up. This is not my favorite lip gloss formula. It's a bit too thick and too heavy for me. And I don't know, I just don't like the feeling of it on my lips. I just can really feel it and I can taste it all of the time and I don't like it. It's just too thick for me. It's looking very, very beautiful and it's actually very nourishing for the lips. They feel so soft and plump when I apply it. So it's actually very beautiful. I just don't like the feeling of it on my lips. So I really want to finish this one here up. It's not that I don't like it so that I don't want to use it. But I feel like I can finish it. At the moment I'm trying to use this one here instead of lip balm and it's working pretty well for me. So I'm applying it at least one to two times a day and sometimes even more. So I think that I can make a lot of progress very soon. So I would really love to finish this one here up very soon. But I don't know how long it takes. We will see. But I'm excited to have it in this project now. Then this one here is another lip product. This is the Healing Lip Glaze in the shade Bubbly from Makeup Geek. And this one here is actually my favorite lip gloss formula. It's so moisturizing and so nourishing and my lips look so good and it feels amazing. It feels like nothing on the lips, but it's so creamy and it looks so plump and beautiful. So, I don't know, I cannot speak highly enough of this formula. It's so, so amazing. I would love to repurchase it, but the last time that I looked, the uh, shipping costs were so expensive from Makeup Geek. So I just couldn't place an order, it was just too high for me. 
So I have to wait until the shipping costs maybe a bit lower down, but I would love to repurchase it. It's so beautiful. It comes in three different shades. I would love to try the other ones too, but bubbly is definitely my favorite because it's a pink one and I do love pink lip glosses. So this one here, I only have a tiny amount left and I think I can only reach it when I take out the stopper, which I'm going to do after filming this video. So I have marked it here, but you can, I don't know if you can see it, but it's not really, so the product isn't really until here. It's basically down at the bottom and I just can, I just have to scrape everything from the, from the sides. And then I think I can finish it in the next month because I can maybe get two or three uses out of this little bottle here. So there's not a lot of product left in here. So I'm definitely sure that I can finish this one very, very soon. Then I do have the spray here from Makeup Revolution. It was in collaboration with Jake Jamie and it's the Tropical Quench Essence Spray. And I used this one as kind of a hydrating primer before applying makeup and I do actually really, really like it. It has a very tropical scent to it and it has a very intense scent. So if you don't like scents, you wouldn't like this one here. I kind of like the feeling of it on the skin, but I recently got another spray from Essence that's kind of doing the same thing. And, and so I thought, why not use up this one first and then start using the other one. So, so as you can see, I have marked it here in the back and I have used a bit more than half of it already. So I think my goal until next month will be to use up half of what's left in the bottle. Let's see if I can do it. I don't know how much time it will take to really see some progress in this bottle, but we will see in the next update. Then I do want to finish these two products up from last year's project. So they will be staying in the project and I hope that I can finish both of them until the next update. So next we have the Super Shock Highlighter by Colourpop. It's in the shade Spoon and I do absolutely love this highlighter. It's my favorite one in my whole collection and it's very beautiful. It's very transparent and just a bit of sparkle and light there. It's very, very beautiful and my goal is just to hit pan in it. And I don't know how far I'm already down, but I have a pretty good dip going on right now. So I think it could be pretty fast to hit pen in this one. Then we have my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. It's the Pro Longwear Paint Pot. It's an eyeshadow primer. And I have a huge dip in it already. And my goal is to hit pen in it. So I actually don't really like this primer. It's a bit too drying and too thick and heavy on my lids. And I feel like it really does emphasize dry patches and texture and I don't like that. And it's also too yellow for me. I'm so fair. My skin almost looks like a piece of white paper. So this one really shows up darker and more yellow than my skin tone and it doesn't really suit me, but I can kind of make it work. So I thought, why not try and hit pan in it to just get more use out of it. And then I may be going to declutter it. I'm not sure now because I feel like I can always use it if I don't have anything else. So why waste it and give it away or toss it. But my first goal is to hit pan and then I will see what I'm doing next with it. Then I do have this primer here by Essence. It's the You Better Work primer and they have discontinued this one, so I thought, why not try and use it up? I have used a lot of it already. It has a bit of a green tint to it, just going to show it to you. So it's actually made to kind of reduce redness, but I feel like it doesn't really do a pretty good job with it. It is a bit, it's a bit brightening on the skin, but it's actually not really canceling any redness up. So I don't really feel like it does anything at all. I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of this one, but it's also not, not doing anything bad. So I think I can use it up. And I just want to finish some products this year. So primer is one of the categories where I really want to downsize a bit. So I would love to finish this one here. And then finally, because I feel like as a project panner, I just started project panning last year in September. And I feel like one of the main things to achieve in the life of a project panner is to hit pen in a blush or in a bronzer. 
So I thought, why not try and hit pan in this blush here? So this is from Wet n Wild. It's the Color Icon Blush in the shade Rose Champagne. And the packaging actually broke on me. So it's a bit rough here. But this is what my pan is looking like at the moment. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I, but I actually do have a bit of a dip going on in there. So I think for a year-long project pan, I could really try and hit pan in a blush because in every other project, I could just couldn't do it. But when it's a year long, I feel like maybe I could just do it. And this is my favorite blush in my collection. So I feel like it's the only one that I would want to work on for a whole year. So I'm very, very curious to see the progress in this one here. So this is everything that we are going to work on during the next year. And then we will see what gets rolled out and what new things will be joining the project. So this is everything for today. This is the beginning of a new project. I'm so excited to finally be able to start all my new project pens. Let me know down below in the comments if you are working on some products this year and what they are and what you think you will achieve and what goals you have. And let's just motivate each other in the comments down below. If you want to join my journey here and if you want to check out some other project pens and declutters and everything else, please hit the subscribe button and check out my other videos. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I wish you all a beautiful day.